Right, another video, because I remember now what I was going to say yesterday and a couple of other things. Just adjust that. Something like that. Right, so what I was going to say yesterday um, was just a little bit of a shout out to Pete, really. Um, as I say, he gets enough plaudits from people. Everyone seems to really enjoy his input on the podcast, and so do I. Do you know what I mean? Not just, not just his input on the podcast, but you know, me and Pete chat a lot on Zoom often. And um, as I said before, uh, I think I've built quite a close relationship with him in a short space of time, really, because we talk so much and, and we have quite a lot in, com in common, and obviously shared interest in you know the music or whatever and. You know, he, he's a big supporter of mine in general, um, of which, you know, there are quite a few of you out there, obviously, which I really, really appreciate, you know, watching videos, listening to the podcasts, those sorts of things. Um, so, yeah, I guess this was just like a little bit of a shout out to Pete, not that he needs telling, but how much, he, you know, he's helped me, not just with the podcast, like I say, but with all sorts of stuff, you know what I mean, like... Um, listening to me go on about things that aren't related to this or, you know, at the deeper end of this. Um, he's heard some fun stuff anyways, Pete, but, you know, he's been a, he's been a really solid influence for me um, quite a while. Well, ever since I've met him, really, because <clears throat> I think that's something that's really true of me in particular is I work so much better um, when I can see that someone believes in me. You know what I mean? If I can see or feel or hear that someone believes in what I'm doing or what I can do, it just inspires me. Do you know what I mean? It spurs me on so much. And I've had that in the past with people like Rick McNamara um, from Embrace. He's always been really supportive, you know, listening to my songs and that, and obviously wanting to be involved in the solo record and those sorts of things. And writing with Rick in general, do you know what I mean? But having someone who believes in you, do you know what I mean? And you speak to enough that they maintain that belief in yourself in the same way that Tim used to do when we were in the band. You know, I get I get that from Pete. Um, so, you know, he, bring, he brings a lot to my table, so to speak. Now, I suppose the main point of this video is going to be talking about something that Pete's been talking to me about for a long time and I've been putting off effectively because for various reasons, I haven't been entirely comfortable with it. So, right, so what that is... Um, so he's been going on at me to effectively start a, a Patreon, Patreon account sort of thing, you know, a Patreon page, Patreon page, whatever you call it, Podbean call it Patreon. Um, and yet he's been, he's been on at me to, to do that for a while and I've been a bit hesitant to really, because I don't know, it just, I don't know, it, because I have no foot really in this landscape you know what i mean no sort of prior contextual understanding of all this do you know what i mean it it's made me feel a bit uncomfortable but the more i spoke to pete and things um you know the more he's convinced me really that there's there's nothing to lose really um so you know last night we put a load of stuff in place on podbean i don't think we've launched it yet as i say we're both still learning but you know we set up some tiers and things like that um, and you know, basically, it's gonna it, like anything that I do. This is something that's gonna sort of grow as it goes along. But um, like a Patreon subscription service with different tiers, it will allow me to basically have more creative output. Do you know what I mean? Um, I mean, I've, I've detailed on the Patreon page a few things about what the plans are and that. Um, and as I say, it's very, it's, it's very, it's ongoing is this, um, and I'll be getting more ideas together as I go along, more possibilities, um, and I'll talk about it more as well. Uh, so the first place we've done that is Podbean. Now at this stage, you know, we're thinking about things like, um, you know, ex exclusive content, basically exclusive content, exclusive live streams, things like that, you know, access to early access to episodes um live access to us recording the podcast before the edit because there's a lot goes on and there uh, those sorts of things you know down to the smaller rewards like shout outs and things like that um and, and again this is something that i'm gonna have to learn as we're kind of doing it um 
you know, there's all sorts of stuff you've got to set up, like, uh, you know, goal amounts and stuff like that, the amount of money you want to raise. and But that's very difficult to, to set at this stage, really, although I think I set a low number on it. But, um, you know, because, you know, the bottom line is to set this podcast up. I mean, if you take out, like, the cost of the computer and stuff, to set this podcast up has cost me, like, 1,500 quid. And you've got annual subscription fees to Podbean and things like that. Uh, there's all sorts of administrative housekeeping um, charges, basically. Um, and obviously, any kind of subscriptions or all like that, the money will be put back into the creative process. Do you know what I mean? So if you're talking about the podcast specifically, that will be put back into things like, uh, you know, a reasonable quality camera and a, a couple of lights to, to get a good video feed going, things like that. Do you know what I mean? Um, you know, a little, a little bit more professional because we can do it slap dash, but and then I've never done anything slap dash really. I like to do it properly. Also, you know, um, there's all sorts of areas where that would be beneficial because as well, I mean, it's difficult really. It's difficult setting up. It's difficult making this video because I'm not someone who, not someone who asks for money. Do you know what I mean? But I'm not asking for money for nothing. If you know what I mean, the idea would be. As I said, exclusive content. That exclusive content will um, progress into all sorts of stuff. Be it, you know, me and Pete doing live streams, talking about other things, um, right the way through to music and things like that. You know, because as I've said in the Patreon blurb, obviously I've written a lot of songs recently. Now in this day and age, because I haven't been in the industry for ten years, you know, I don't know the crack and all that sort of stuff and. As Pete was saying, really, it kind of makes sense because I could I could be creative and have output, but be self sufficient. If you know what I mean, um, you know that's some and it would enable me to to do it more seriously, I suppose. Because obviously, come summer, I'll be going back doing gardening a bit more, which will restrict output X Y Z. Uh, but so it's the kind of thing that I'd imagine. It probably might start really slowly, and that's fine. Do you know what I mean? I have no expectations of it. But I suppose the more that people sort of show an interest, the more it gives me license to go nuts with it. Because I will, do you know what I mean? I've got tons of ideas, tons of ideas, like early access to my songs, um, live stream into writing sessions when I'm writing, um, down to performance, all performances of these new songs, early access to recording. Because that's a part, you know, I don't know how you go out getting, you know, obviously back in the day we had a record deal and that. I know it still works the same way, but I can't imagine that me or what I'm creating is going to be very attractive to like a like a record company. Do you know what I mean? I'm not under any illusion that, you know, I'm going to be doing this very much sort of for myself, if you know what I mean. I mean, you know, if people like it or whatever, then fine, but... For my mind, and it it makes more sense. This makes more sense. Do you know what I mean? Having a, a sort of a tiered subscription service, it gets you access to stuff because it gives me license to create without worrying too much about where I'm gonna get some, you know, my next money from. Obviously, going out gardening will get me some. Um, so yeah, this video basically is well. I was gonna say getting people's thoughts on it, but I'm not sure that's really what I'm doing because. I've gone through enough of a process with Pete where I've sat there going, no man, no, I'm not doing that. It looks bad, it looks bad. People will say that I'm only doing it for money and things like that. But, you know, and every time Pete says, you know, how much how much time have you put into your content already that you've put out? And, you know, the answer's a lot of time. Um, and that's that's always been through enjoyment at this stage. Um, but, you know, Pete has rammed home the point that there's nothing wrong with giving away stuff that I am, but there can be another level. Do you know what I mean? And I'm sat on like 20 songs, 20 great songs. I want people to hear them, but the process of getting into a studio properly, you know, with lockdown and stuff and recording them properly, production and everything, that's a long, that's a long process, man. Do you know what I mean? Whereas I think if, if this works and people are sort of signing, signing into it and, you know, I can share that stuff with them. I feel like I can share the new stuff. You know, I'd, I'd, I don't know how we'd do it in terms of, because obviously 
I'd want to, I don't want people recording my new stuff and sharing it around the mates, do you know what I mean? That would remain exclusive content for patrons and stuff. So there would have to be some sort of encryption live feed for new stuff, I guess. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud really and letting people know this is kind of what I'm planning. Now, I suppose the other confusing thing is I'm talking to you about this effectively on YouTube, but the Patreon page at this stage, as I say, I haven't launched it yet, I don't think. But that, but the Podbean page, uh, the Patreon page at this point is on Podbean, so I don't know the logistics of, you know, say I get people subscribing to Patreon on Podbean. Can I tie that in with YouTube so I can do stuff on YouTube for Patrons, or do I have to do it on Podbean? Do you know what I mean? That's not a problem because Podbean's got a video platform as well and, and a live streaming platform, so I can make use of that. Um, but obviously I have got more followers on YouTube than I have on Podbean, do you know what I mean? So, again, I'll be speaking to Pete about it, but it might be a case of turning on like memberships and stuff on YouTube, which would effectively be access to the same thing. I mean, if we have to sort of comp compartmentalise it, then, you know, there's Podbean stuff, as I say, it'll be early access to episodes, um, early access to the live feed recording before it even goes into editing, where it's twice as long as load more stuff in. Um, down to me and Pete doing, you know, talking about other stuff outside of the music, you know, just vibing, talking about stuff, being involved in those live streams. Do you know what I mean? There's there's different tiers, different levels. And that's something that, you know, even when I do put this live, all the tiers and that, that's not set in stone um, in terms of the amounts and the rewards. That will change as the content grows, I suppose. But yeah, I've got loads of content, man. You know, I've got three hard drives full of demos, you know, all the album sessions for the third album that were done in my bedroom. There's all sorts of interesting stuff on there that, you know, I'd, uh, I'd be up for sort of putting out through this type of medium. So, ultimately, that's what I'm saying, is that, you know, it's something I feel like I could explore. Um, because, obviously, at the moment, I'm doing it if you pure passion and that's fine but come summer I won't have enough I won't have as much time to be doing it in the same vein so yeah um I'll talk more about it when it sort of goes up properly I don't know when I'm going to put it all up properly I need to make this video just talking about it a bit and then I need to make another one to actually go on the uh, Podbean Patreon page as I say it's all very new to me um and being honest about it as I usually am I'm a little bit hesitant. Well, it all ties into the uh, well, complete lack of narcissism, I suppose. You know, there might be some people going, no, you know, I'll do all to get people's money. So everyone needs money to live. Do you know what I mean? And I've had a lot of costs, which have anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't, I, I, I wouldn't. I feel a bit more comfortable having this, having spoken to Pete a lot about it and. So I'm talking to you a lot about it as well. Um, as I say, I'm not necessarily gauging your thoughts and opinions. I guess I kind of am. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm not welcoming people um, getting in touch with me to tell me that they're annoyed that you know I've chosen to gate some content, if you will. Because I'll still be doing YouTube videos and the podcast will still be just free as an audio podcast. But it could be that... It could be that to access video, that will be on the Patreon. Do you know what I mean? That won't be available standard. It will just be audio standard, which most people might be happy with, and that's fine. Do you know what I mean? It's not. No one is being. No one is forced to do any of this. Do you know what I mean? If if you're only interested in the sort of surface level content, that's fine. Um, that's that's fine, and because otherwise, I'd have been looking at doing this from the start. Do you know what I mean? I've like monetization on YouTube. I could have done that ages ago. But again, I'd be like, oh, I don't want to turn adverts on and make people have to watch adverts and stuff like that. But again, it takes takes me time to do this stuff. And um, like Pete says, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, this is your intellectual property in a sense. And if you're just putting it out there and you've put out so much for free and never questioned it. You know, I've had tons of people saying, oh, why have you put that riff out? You shouldn't be putting that riff out. And oh, why have you put your demos on YouTube for people to hear? You shouldn't be doing that. Do you know what I mean? And it, there were a bit of me that were like, oh, why? Why? Um, I didn't see a problem with it, and I still don't see a problem with it. But I also don't see a problem with 
moving for moving into this side of things into you know, a subscription service if you will you know what i mean and i can go wild with that because i've got the gear to make sounds make songs i've got my head to talk about stuff people seem to enjoy me you know talking about subjects or whatever and they can be wider than just music do you know what i mean um so yeah how long this thing i can never see the time 15 minutes i don't have i got anything else to say about this I don't think so at this stage. I think that about covers it. Um, but yeah, I suppose, you know, anyone who did decide to contribute, it'd be awesome. But obviously, no one's been forced to do so. So yeah, that'll do for now. I just wanted to talk about these ideas that we've been having, letting people know that that's what we're going to be doing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Kind of thought, well, if I go on here, sort of just asking for people's opinions, it encourages them to say, oh, no, no, I want your content, but for free. It's like, oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> and I'm the total muppet. It'll be like, oh, okay, cool. Do you know what I mean? Whereas, you know, Pete's like, no, man, you got, you know, you, even, you know, no matter what it is, you deserve some of what you're doing. And if it were, if it, you know, if it was, it would just, you know, if it was a, a good amount or whatever, it would enable things to move faster, basically. But I ain't asking for anyone's money. Do you know what I mean? It's not how I work. I've got too much shame, I suppose, and pride. Some people will just be like, oh, please, I'm not begging for help. Do you know what I mean? Like, if it happens, it happens. It's nice. It'll allow me to really delve into creating without having to step out of it. Because at the moment, you know, like any kind of creative person in my sort of shoes, you have to jump in and out of that mindset. Do you know what I mean? Effectively, where it's sort of staying in that mindset, things really start to snowball, man. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you're being creative and you get momentum, creative momentum, you know, it might seem like it's, well, not a myth, but it's a hard thing to pinpoint, but it exists, man. Do you know what I mean? It, it exists so much because it, as the ball rolls, it picks up more snow, it picks up more songs, more music and more confidence. And then that's when you finish one and you're like, oh, that's mint, and you go into the next one. And that's even better. And then into the next one. And before you know it, after three weeks, you've got 10 songs. You know what I mean? Or more. Um, so yeah, I've rambled enough again. I'll leave it there. I'll talk to you more about what we're doing later on. Do you know what I mean? In terms of where everything's going to be and how you can get to it, if you want to get to it. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, don't blame me. Blame Pete. Blame Pete. All uh, grievances... Pedro Arrow on Twitter. Nice one.